So in this video, I will show you how to install FSR 3.1 on Dying Light 2. But it has the ghosting issue and later in the video, I will show you how to use uh, lossless scaling for Dying Light 2. It's pretty good, but it's paid. In DLSS enabler, ghosting issue is unbearable sometimes. So do this if you really need that extra FPS, otherwise it isn't worth it in my opinion. And make sure to like and subscribe. Help me to get 2k subs at the end of this year. Thank you. In the DLSS enabler supported games list, Dying Light 2 section, you can see it says UI is shaking during camera movement due to a bug in the game code. So this can only be fixed by Dying Light 2 developers. We can have some hope because in GDC 2024 in the FSR 3.1 supported list, it has Dying Light 2. So when it releases, hopefully we can play the game without the ghosting and UI glitch issue. Anyway, you need DLSS enabler for this. You can download it using the link in the description. Scroll down and download. Before we install the mod, you need to change the renderer mod to DX12 in the game advanced settings. Then open your game file location. Go to where you install the game. Go to PH, Work, Bin, x64. Then open DLSS enabler. Accept, Next, Next. In here, as always, copy this path and paste it as the installation location like this. And hit Next. So in here, you need to select the second option. The Install as a WinMM DLL option. If you are planning to use this on AMD or Intel GPU, you need to check these options as well. And hit next and install. After that, you can just open the game. So now if you go to the options, you will see that DLSS option is now available. And you can turn on frame generation too. As you can see, the frame generation is working. But the UI glitching is so bad. These random hiccups because I'm running the game on a hard drive. It's not a mod issue. That's it. And if you want to uninstall the mod, just run this uninstaller and delete these files after that. So for lossless scaling, you can get the software for just 3.5 USD. It's really worth it for the price. So these are my settings for the lossless scaling. I'm not going to use uh, LS upscaling for this. I'm just going to use the uh, in-game FSR2 for this test. So I'm getting around 50 to 60 FPS with in-game FSR2 and this is almost maximum settings. Then press Ctrl Alt S to enable lossless scaling. Because I'm using the 2x setting, I get 75 to 90 FPS. You can try 3x and 4x as well. The game is smooth. It has a bit of an input lag and some character ghosting, but it's better than the previous method. So that's it. Until next video, adios amigos.